Hello, I'm Stuart Bloor, spinning for perch. Just arrived at the water's edge for an hour, up to dark. Got my landing net, got my bag off my shoulder, got my rod made up. You can see there, got the Velcro band on, and the spinner's already on there as well. So all I've got to do is take the band off, put the rod together, and away I'll go. That's a great thing about spinning. You don't need to prepare a swim, you don't need to spend time on the bank, getting stuff ready. You just get there, put your rod together, cast out, and the moment, your spinner or your lure hits the water, you're fishing. Well, no fish yet, but about the fourth cast out, I just had a, a perch, well I assume a perch could be a pike of course, but I just had a perch lunge at the uh, spinner and it was, it was on just for a brief second or two and then it went slack and then just a moment later it was on again. So that's encouraging isn't it? Because it shows that the fish are feeding. So anyway, let's see if I can catch it again or probably, because that's, that's no doubt gone a bit shy now, probably catch another one because they are shellfish. Where there's one, there's more hanging around. Well, got one on. I told you I'd catch one. Although I've got netted first. Only a small one, but at least, as I say, I'm not a blanker. There you go, in the net. And there it is. And how close was that? The spinner came out in the net. Brilliant. Let's get it back. I'm into another perch and as you can see this is another session I haven't just changed my hat anyway it's coming in nicely I'm about to net it and I'll show you in a moment what I've caught and here it is just another small one but always very very welcome indeed all right let's get this one back see if I can get another great stuff next cast and I'm into another fish about the same size actually as I've said already they are shell <laughs> a couple of uh, ducks went right over there and they are shellfish so uh, you do tend to get them of the same size when they're around in numbers right let's net this and look at that magnificent fish with its dorsal standing up of its own accord I've got a pike on now <laughs> I actually saw it it's only a small one but I saw it and it, uh, it did not lunge and there's my net and it did not lunge at it and uh, I've got it now on the bank. Brilliant. I'll show you this one as well. And here it is. Small but beautiful and perfectly formed. The area that I'm fishing is very shallow where I've been taking the fish from so far in this video. In fact, as you stand on the bank on a clear day like it is today with the sun out, you can see the bottom for, well, right the way across the area where I'm fishing. A little bit of weed out there and so consequently with it being shallow plus the weed, I'm actually fishing with a, a number one Meps Aglia. I don't want a heavy lure that's going to sink fast and sink rapidly I'm casting out and the moment that it's hitting the water I'm beginning the retrieve in fact the exciting thing about this sort of fishing um, typified by the pike really is that I'm watching the lure come across and I can see the fish actually come out and and take it where they're coming from who knows but that's the great thing about fishing isn't it you look out there you think there's nothing out there and yet there are there are fish so my tip is don't ignore the shallows in fact I've been watching a few carp out there and for many carp anglers they wouldn't probably give this a second look but for those anglers who watch the water who observe what's going on then like me you know that fish can turn up in very shallow water sometimes another perch on again about the same size I think yeah right let's net this there it is beautiful isn't it you can see the spinner there cleanly hooked in the mouth This is uh, brilliant. I just saw this perch come right in and uh, take the lure. And I'm going to get it out by hand. I'm fishing quite shallow water, certainly close in, and I'm putting a good chuck on the number one aglet, still a small spinner, but I'm able to get out into the deeper water and then retrieve it. And on that particular fish, the perch 
obviously picked it up in the deeper water because I saw it coming in. It was interested, you could tell from the, uh, from the action of the fish, but as the lure started to come into, into shallower and shallower and shallower water, the perch obviously thought this meal is going to get away. So it literally went into, into top speed, accelerated incredibly so, took the spinner like a, like a sparrow hawk pulling down a pigeon if ever you've seen that. It was that sort of a, an action, an explosion of the water and uh, I got it on the bank. So I'm certainly happy to catch that fish. A nice one as well, not a monster, but the main thing about fishing is enjoyment and I certainly enjoyed catching that. Second fish of this session, just coming in. I have actually had uh, another take, but uh, it didn't uh, it didn't connect. Anyway, hopefully this one will. Just a small perch, that one has now gone back. It's great to see them, isn't it, swimming back. Particularly when the water's clear, like it is on this venue. You can see the perch heading back into the deeps. <laughs> it's the world's smallest pike. Take a look for yourself. Look how small that is. But all very welcome, and hopefully this will grow to be a monster and make somebody's day one day. Although, having said that, I enjoy catching them of all sizes, so it certainly made mine. I do love catching small pike. When I say small pike, I mean just uh, you know a few ounces rather than say three or four pound. I think there's something very special about them. And that one, the moment I put it back into the water, it took off, and I thought it was just going to go right the way into the deeper water. But about a rod length out from the bank, it stopped, and it's now sulking, just like a big pike does when you put it back. And my first perch of the second, and that's coming in now. And I've just released that down at the side. I didn't bother showing it to the camera. Just a, a, another small one, which is what I've been catching all week. And as you've gathered by now, the hat changes on a regular basis. So they're all different sessions, all short and all very sweet and successful. I'm really enjoying it. And I'm moving around the lake, and that's a great thing about spinning, isn't it? That you can cover a lot of water. And that was on my first cast in this particular peg.